Colorado's fire season is one month longer today than it was just three decades ago. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, two new wildfires erupted in the Front Range foothills this weekend as four old fires continue burning statewide. The Calwood Fire has burned more than 8,800 acres since Saturday, destroying at least 26 homes west of Boulder. The Left Hand Canyon Fire is forcing evacuations nearby at Ward and Nederland, scorching more than 300 acres in 24 hours. Hundreds more people evacuated from the Estes Park area for the billowing Cameron Peak Fire, now burning 203,000 acres. That's more than 317 square miles. In the high country, the East Troublesome Fire in northern Grand County has burned 12,600 acres since last Wednesday. The Middle Fork Fire north of Steamboat is nearly 20,000 acres. All this is abnormal. In the past 35 years, just a dozen fires larger than 1,000 acres have started in October. In the past week alone, two fires have burned a combined 21,000 acres. Colorado Public Radio reports on the perfect storm of dry weather and changing trends, leading to record autumn wildfires. Precipitation is less than 10% of average statewide, and winds are unusually nasty. Pair this with a non-existent monsoon, and one expert says conditions are like living under a hot hairdryer. A global climate change study from NASA shows fire season is now one month longer across one-fourth of the world, including the U.S., Mexico, Brazil, and East Africa. Meanwhile, it is shorter in West Africa and on the Pacific coast of South America. Today is slow down, move over day in Colorado, trying to prevent roadside fatalities by hitting the brakes when you see an accident and getting away from traffic if you are involved in one. Nationwide, 44 emergency personnel were struck and killed by cars last year, including 18 law enforcement officers and 14 tow truck drivers. Ski Magazine has released its annual ski resort rankings based on a reader survey for value, snow, and amenities, and Colorado claims five in the top ten. Number one in the West goes to Aspen, followed by Sun Valley, Idaho, and Whitefish, Montana. Steamboat is fourth overall. Breckenridge is the top summit resort at number nine. Beaver Creek takes eighth, ahead of Vail at number 14. A Basin is 18th, Keystone 19th, Copper 24th, and Loveland caps out the list at 30th. Top resort out east is Tremblant, Quebec followed by Smuggler's Notch in Vermont. Today is the official debut of the brand new Summit Stage e-bus fleet. Officials cut the ribbon on three new electric buses this morning, valued at $750,000 a piece, but 21 cents cheaper per gallon than diesel to operate. The fleet is part of the county's goal to be 100% electric or zero emissions by 2050. A 2019 climate action plan shows 33% of local greenhouse gases come from cars. The latest now on coronavirus and outbreaks. Summit Public Health is investigating an outbreak of two employees at Cornerstone Real Estate in Breckenridge, confirmed last Thursday and Friday. There have been 12 local outbreaks since Labor Day, half of them in Breckenridge. Officials called the Cornerstone outbreak surprising, though. Employees there had been following all the COVID rules. Summit County's latest infection rate is 209 per 100,000 people, now in our second week of high risk, with a positive test rate of 5.9% compared to 5.3% statewide. In sports, the Broncos beat the Patriots yesterday 18-12. The World Cup Alpine ski season opened over the weekend with Giant Solom in Solden, Austria, where Norway's Lucas Brathen won the men's race. Tommy Ford was top American in 22nd. Vale's River Radimus finished 27th. Italian women went 1-2, led by Marta Bassino. Team USA's Paula Molson was 10th. Nina O'Brien took 15th. Next World Cup on the schedule is men's and women's parallel slalom in Austria, November 13th and 14th. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Football is 1-1 one one after a win last Thursday on the front range, and the boys will be back in action this Friday at home for Palisade. You can catch the game live on our sister station, Sea Rock 1033, starting 4.30 with the pregame. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.